Hi, welcome back to the Backyard Wood Shop. Today's project is an easy one. Anybody can do this. Uh, very minimal tools are needed. Really, all you, you could use a handsaw and a drill and get this done. So basically what we're going to be making is a coat rack. Anybody can use one of these in their house. Um, all you need is a piece of wood. This one's three and a half inches and the length's going to be 18 inches. Um, you can pick up a short piece at the home center. Um, for relatively little money this is a piece of poplar and then you're just going to need some hooks well, I picked these hooks up um, off the trash I saw somebody threw out a coat rack that is broken and so I just took these and I've had these for a number of years and I've used them on a as a temporary one for a while but now I'm gonna make this permanent um, and then all you need is some screws so a piece of wood some hooks and some screws and you can build a coat rack Here's our board laid out. Uh, basically, I measured off of this edge 18 inches because that's what I'm going to be using. Um, you can make yours any length you want. And then what I did, because I want five hooks, is I came in from the edge to two inches, same on the other side, made marks. And then I split that difference here and got my screw holes. So this is at one inch, same at the other end. So then you measure the overall length again which is 18 so then you divide that and it gives you nine and then I measure between this line and this line that's seven and that gives me three and a half and so that's how I laid out for my hooks now that line is on center so these hooks have a nice little center mark on them so that'll make it easy to position these one on each side and we'll just lay them on the center and then all I have to do is measure top and bottom if I want them centered or if I want them lower or higher whatever I want and then our rack is ready now I'm gonna do is uh, make a cut here um, one of the pluses of this saw is it's got a laser so it makes it easy to position so I'm just gonna take and use this little radius jig I've got um, it's a pretty pretty nice little guy just a couple little pieces um, and I, I'll just hook it onto the board on each side and then that'll give me my three quarter inch radius using a top bearing pattern bit so let's give it a go <laughs> thought I would show you another method to uh, maybe make your uh, roundovers. So you can use a coin or something like that to get the roundover you want, a, a can, whatever. You don't have to have a template like I had. And then what you want to do is, let's see here, you want to take, set up your saw. I'm going to go ahead and use a hand saw, but if you've got a powered miter saw, you can do this too, just to take off the majority of the materials that you're going to be using. So all I'm going to do is come up here, bring in my piece, get close to the line. And saw that off. And I've still got my line here, and uh, you can either file it, sand it, anything like that and uh we'll have everything set this little hand miter saw i really really like using it and uh makes quick work of things like this hey, look how fast i did that um it's a nice smooth cut too now you could even go with uh this type of angle if you wanted if you like that that look what i'm gonna do now is since I've cut the majority of the material off, I can just work this. Now, if you don't want to cut that off, you could just sit here and sand it to that. Um, but it just goes like this.
then you end up with that nice round profile and while you're at it go ahead and smooth up the others uh, that you were working on Just that fast, that was live, uh, we've got our roundovers. Well, I went ahead and uh, set up a new bit. I kind of like this uh, pattern. I don't know if it's showing up well on camera, but it's a little fancier look. I'm going to go ahead and go with that. So Let's give this a shot. I'm using a, a starter pin. You can use your fence, but the problem with the fence is when you go... Uh, into the opening sometimes you can uh, have some issues. So I went ahead and I struck a line down the direct center and uh, I'm just going to kind of eyeball the first one. So I'm just going to put the center line in between uh, these two holes and this center line that's on this on the on the center and then I'm going to drill a couple holes and uh, that'll put that one in the right place and then I'll use this as my setup to do the rest. Now I just marked a couple holes there and what I can do is Go down here, do the same thing, and then connect the dots and then drill out for those holes. And then all my hooks should be relatively the same height. You can get really precise if you want and, uh, you know, mark it all out way ahead of time. But I'm not that worried about it. Um, I'm just trying to get it kind of close. So now that you've got those holes, just use any kind of straight edge that you've got, which I'm just going to use this board. It's straight enough. Try and hit the center of the hole as best you can. Draw a line and then uh, that'll help you line them all up. Same with up here. Same difference. Just try and split the center. You're going to be sanding all this off anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So now that I've got that, all I'm going to do is take my hook, lay it on here. I can see my marks, make sure that I'm centered. And then just drill a couple of small holes to start. 
And you can just, they're all the same, so. Now that should uh, be all we need. So the next step before we do anything else, I want to go ahead and kind of put some screws in. We'll just leave these like this. Should be fairly close. And there we go. So that's going to be a nice little little coat rack that will uh, hang on my door. And what we want to do now, got a little pilot bit here. I'm just going to put a little little countersink in. and get it about the same size. And there we go, that's roughly what I'm looking for. Super easy, super fast. I'm even doing this in a video, and uh, I mean, I'm well under an hour so far. Just trying to show you guys uh, some simple things you can do. And now what you wanna do is take everything off, sand it, do the finish to your liking, and we're ready to mount it. Well, here we go. We've got our coat rack all mounted up on the door. Uh, it's, once you've got the finish on the board, you s just replace your screws back in with your hooks and uh, mount it on the door and you're finished. Uh, it's a super quick project. You can do this uh, under an hour if you really wanted to. The nice thing is I'm using recycled hardware, keeping it out of the landfill. Um, just a piece of poplar three quarter inch thick with some details. So. Uh, if you got anything out of this video, please hit that like button. And uh, if you'd like to see more of my content, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I see you in the backyard.